It's time to do 2018 Donner's football. Six box break number one. It is Panini only, Frank. Panini only. Yeah, no problem, old school. That's, that's what I'm here for, bro. I'm not just a pretty face to look at. You know, there, there's something going on up there in that brain of mine. All right, so I'm only doing six boxes. Thank God. Because this, uh, this does take a while. So, spoiler alert. I'm going to go through this somewhat quickly. Dude, it's a lot of cards. It is a lot of cards. All right. Most of them being base cards. Now, everything ships, of course. Uh, but I know you guys are, you know, interested in, uh, in the good stuff. There's four right there. We're doing six. I'm just picking them at random here. That's five, and then six. Boom. Done deal. Let's put this away. And this stuff is heavy. Yeah, Kel, something like that. Something like that. There's, I mean, there's good stuff in it. But it does take a while. All right, let's uh, try to go through this as quickly as possible for both of our sanities. Yours, <laughs> and more importantly, mine. All right, here we go. A little bit here. Yeah, let's see, it's uh, 24 packs per box, 10 cards per pack, so we're looking at 240 cards per box, 240 times 6 equals a lot of cards. Now, I did a half case of this earlier for the store, and that thing took me almost, well, I want to say over two hours for just a half case. However, going through it, you know, I figured a good way to go through it. You know, so I'm going to be a little quiet. You know, usually I announce rookies and inserts and things of that nature. But to save time and preserve my sanity, I will not be doing that. I'm only going to announce the uh, numbered cards, relics, and autographs. Yeah, Kells, it's a lot. It's a lot of cards. Yeah, I mean, you, yeah, usually, you know, depending on the break, I, I show, of course, I show everything, obviously. I'm going to show everything. Uh, but I will be going through the veteran base a, a tad quicker than I will everything else. Otherwise, we'd be here forever. And y'all got better things to do. Not to mention, we have other stuff to do as well. Uh, Vertex football coming up after this. After that, we'll run the filler for the elements. Full case number five. And then we'll break it and rip it and get it done. And hopefully by the time that's done, we'll have another break filled. So I can go ahead and rip that as well. All right. Let's see what we got. Big Greg should be coming in any, anytime soon now, huh, Kels? All right, let's see what we got. Good luck, y'all. Let me uh, adjust this a little bit better for me. See, these are some inserts here, some rookies. Pop out, go. You got a list. 
Lucia, Lucia, whatever her name is, Deoxys, Hal, Underground Expedition. There's some really cool cards here, the, the inserts and whatnot. Wayne Gallman to 400 Giants. And these inserts are pretty cool too. But way too many base. There's our first rookie auto to 499, Traquan Smith of the Saints. Those are not numbered. Honestly, I shouldn't even be separating these, but it's it's a habit at this point. And you know, and it kind of it helps my uh, sorters out too. Taven Bryan to ninety Jaguars. To 100, Von Miller. Broncos. Patch to 99 for Howie Long. Raiders. There's a one auto, one relic per box in this on average. The champ is here. Those cards are pretty cool. For the Eagles. Dalton Schultz, rookie. Press proof. Cunningham die cut to 75 for the Texans. To 94 Cameron Jordan Saints. Yeah, the checkerboard refractors are pretty cool. These right here. There's some nice looking inserts and whatnot. Like, these are nice. The Great Iron Kings, the Rated Rookies are always sweet. Just way too many base cards, man. But these rookie cards are pretty sweet, too. And check these out, the Legends of the Fall. There's some nice stuff to be had here. If you can sift through all the uh, veteran base, there's nice stuff to be had. The Elite Series rookies are pretty sweet, too. Well, Frank, I mean, I got a half caser in the store. You might be able to find your team for a fraction of the price that you would on eBay. Truth be told, uh, some of the teams on eBay sold for more than what we have in a half caser in the store. And this is six boxes. So check out the site. You might see something you like. All right, so that's one box we went through. Uh, but let me double check the veteran here because... There are aqueous test uh, variations, short prints, whatever you want to call them. Uh, and they are stated on the back of the card. It says aqueous test right across it. Can't really miss it unless, you know, 
You can't see or something. But I got that 2020, baby. So I'll check for you. There you go, Frank. I mean, listen, truth be told, the, that that's honestly what we have eBay as. eBay has been really amazing as far as uh, customer acquisition. You know, bringing in new customers to the store and just in general. But, but you, you can get some pretty sweet deals on eBay, too. You know? I mean, truth be told, we're, you know, we don't really make any money doing eBay breaks. Uh, we, we do most, we take losses every now and then. It is what it is. Uh, but, you know, that is honestly a tool we use to just bring in more people to watch and join our breaks on the site, too. And do both. Do eBay and the store. Why not? There's some really sweet deals to be had on eBay and some really sweet deals to be had in the store, too. You know, we have daily giveaways of $100 in the store. We have a weekly hit list giveaway where if you're in a break and you don't get a one-on-one, an autograph, or a relic in the break you're in, you do get a spot in the weekly hit list giveaway. The amount of money we give away depends on how many breaks we do for that week. And there's also the monthly giveaway, which for every break we fill, we add $25 to the pot. And then at the end of the month, we give it all away to one person. All you have to do is make a purchase during that month, and you're entered. Simple as that. All right, so I went through one box just now. I don't know how long that took. What did it take, like 10 minutes? <laughs> yeah, tell me about it, Frank. I mean, listen, it's, 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 it's the cost of doing business, Frank. You know what I mean? If it, if it can expose us to more people, and then also educate them about the store and then get them into the store, it's worth it. Not to say we haven't made money on eBay. We have, but we've also lost money too. You know, those uh, those fees are no joke. I feel you, Frank. Well, listen, man. Uh, not sure if you know our schedule, but we do stream seven days a week. The only time we have off is either when we're going to the National, coming back from the National. Christmas, we don't stream. Thanksgiving and New Year's. Those are the only exceptions. Every other day, we are live. Rain, sleet, hail, or snow. As long as we got an internet connection and electricity, we are live at 5 o'clock Eastern Time every day. And I do mean every day. So, chances are, Frank, you'll catch us, man. And if your boss gives you any crap, you tell him Uncle Jesse said it's fine. And, and then he'll get off your back. He or she will get off your back. My man Matt already picking up the Packers in Donruss football number two. Thank you, my man. Got that down a little bit more here. see what we got here well see there's an aqueous test I was telling you about this one Gerard Davis Lions Jaleel Scott and usually when they're backwards you know they're like numbered or something at the very least what do we have here? A patch to 150 for the Chiefs, Patrick Mahomes. Terrell Edmonds of the Steelers to 100. I am hungry. A 
I really gotta start waking up earlier to uh, to meal prep or whatever. Sean Jackson press proof for the books. Rated rookie to 99, Bo Scarborough Cowboys. I was hoping that'd be an auto or something. That'd be a sick auto, the rated rookie. Haven't seen that one yet. Sam Darnold would be huge. To 100, Heinz Ward Steelers. Insert. Dominators are pretty sick looking cards, too. Drake McKinnon and the Niners to 400. Sammy Darnold. Press proof die cut to 75. Jets. That's a nice little hit right there. Let's see what's in the stack. Kalen Ballage, the rookie autograph for the fans, baby. That's my squad. The 499 Kalen Ballage. Nice one. I think the kid could be real nice in the league. Seen his highlights in Arizona State. Got, uh, got all the necessary tools, I think. Fast, strong. Let's see if we can uh, put it together for the pros. We're, we play our first preseason game tomorrow. Oh, super excited for that. Football is back. Well, almost. I can't wait. All right. Where that is two boxes down. Still got four more. I'm going. I'm going pretty decent. That that think that box. That last box took me like six minutes. Gotta check the back, dummy. Check it on those aqueous tests. Make sure I don't skip out on any. Eagles Steelers play tomorrow. There's 12 games on tomorrow. Damn. Well, the main one being Dolphins Buccaneers. Duh. What time? Is, what's the earliest game that starts? I think the Dolphins game is at seven. I gotta, gotta check that out.
Oh, so all games start at the same time. I'm assuming seven o'clock. My favorite time of year is coming around, baby. Did Lewis send that request, baby? Rip uh, Facebook.com forward slash Rip City Cards. Oh, there's some late games too. Nice, so I can watch base uh, baseball. So I can watch football all night long, or at least for a good amount. I just want to see somebody get smacked in the face. That's all. Is that too much to ask? I just want to see somebody get the crap beaten out of them. Is that too much to ask? I'm on box three now. I want to say that I'm making somewhat decent time. I mean. Sunday ticket doesn't broadcast the preseason. So it's probably going to be on the local stations or whatever. But there's also this thing called the Internet, Frank. I don't know if you've heard of it. But uh, if your Internet school uh, skills are good enough, you could probably find a link to it. Actually, you want to watch the Browns-Giants game. I don't blame you. See, you know, see what the, those boys are looking like. Maybe make, maybe Baker Mayfield will make an appearance. Maybe the uh, Saquon Barkley gets some touches. Yeah, Frank, I'm, I'm right there with you on that one. Luckily for me, though, my, uh, my internet skills are up there. So I could probably find a pretty good stream. And if I do, I'll share it with the rest of the, ch the classroom, if you will. That's exactly where I go, Ethan. <laughs> the secret's out. That's actually, that's literally what I do. I mean, I got a few other tricks of the trade here and there. But that is that is the main one. That's the main one. My friend's such a dumbass. <laughs> okay, girl, do your thing. The internet is funny. I love Snapchat. Anyways, let's see what we got here. Malcolm Butler to 21 for the Titans. That's real low. Yeah, man. Ooh, front row sports. I mean, that takes me back. Yeah, that used to be the that used to be the shiznit right there. But Reddit streams, honestly, they, they they are on point once you find the good one. Elite series cards are so sweet. They're not numbered, and at least not none of these are. Siri, I ain't trying to talk to you right now. Right, I was going to say, that was my go-to like five years ago or so. 
I don't think they do that anymore, but yeah, Reddit is definitely where to go. For the Chiefs to 150, Kareem Hunt with a patch. Ah, uh, come on. There we go. Been waiting on this. Nice. Elite Series Rookie. Autograph to 49 for Cortland Sutton of the Broncos. Real nice looking card. Real nice. I was just saying, oh man, I want to see one autographed. And there you go. Straight cash, homie. It's nice to see Randy Moss in the Hall of Fame. My opinion, probably the greatest receiver ever. But you, you know you're good when you're a verb. When when your name is a verb, that's how you know you're good. You know, that's that's what uh me and my my boys used to play back in the day. We would uh when we would play football. You just throw your arm up and then jump over somebody and catch it. Boy, you just got mossed. That just mossed your ass, bitch. That's that. That's more or less what we would say. To 100, Delaney Walker, Titans. These great Iron King inserts are pretty sweet too. Yeah, nobody wants to get mossed. Nobody wants to get mossed. Best in the game right now, Julio or A.B.? Honestly, I'd rather have Julio. Julio is a freak of nature. Speaking of, there's Julio. To, four, uh, to 99, Jordan Wilkins, Colts. Any idea of those Reddit streams? Oh, hells yeah, Frank. Dog, trust me. Uh, I'll help you out. I'll help you out. If you come through the YouTube, you know, the YouTube chat, be like, yo, I'm looking for such and such team. I'll look it up for you. I'll drop the link in the chat. And it works on Android. It works on, it even works on your iPhone too. So many cards, man. Devin McCourty to 75 die cut for the Patriots. Dominators are pretty sweet. Want to see those autographed? There's an aqueous test here. Alex Mago, Seahawks. I uh, know, Richie. There's one more after this. It is Vertex Football, four boxes though. It'll be a super quick break. And after that, we'll get working on that elements, baby. I'm trying to go through this as quick as possible. There's just so many cards in this stuff, man. Archie Manning to 400 Saints. Allen Iverson, greatest of all time. Not up for discussion. He's my favorite player. I mean, technically it's Dwayne Wade, but Allen Iverson will forever have that number one spot in my heart. You know, when people ask me the random question, hey, Uncle Jesse, if, you know, you're building a basketball team. Who's your number one pick? Allen Iverson. 
Not, you wouldn't pick LeBron or Michael or, or, or Co Nope. Give me Allen Iverson. I don't care. Allen Iverson could put up 30, 40 points in his sleep against anybody. In my opinion, pound for pound, the greatest basketball player ever. We'll probably never see a player like that ever again. I wasn't even doing this in, in January 21st, 2016. Got a lot of people that work at casinos in here. Maybe you guys can teach me the secrets. And then I'll go to the casino, make a bunch of money, and then I'll break bread amongst all y'all. Dude, the greatest of all time, Ethan. The greatest of all time. Box four here. Come on. Hey, um, because you need to come 
All right, let's see what's in this fourth box. There we go to 25. Braided rookie, press proof for Mr. Anthony Miller Bears. Nice. Stacks are getting a little tall, but I think I can manage. And if they had like half the amount of base cards they put in this set, this stuff would be so sweet. The Sean McCoy to 100 bills. Press proof. Press proof there. All that casino talk going in the chat. I wish I understood half of it. <laughs> I've been I've been to my fair share of casinos, but I, I'm not a gambler. I usually just you know stand next to a high roller at a roulette table or something, and then just have the bartender bring me drinks all night long. So 400 Jimmy Graham Packers. Where's the auto in this thing? No relics yet. It's in here hiding somewhere. Deron Payne to 50. Redskins. Free drinks are nice. I mean, you know what I mean? Just pretend to gamble and get free drinks. I mean, it's not like it's free because I, I give the bartender like, you know, I'll give her like twenty dollars and pretend like I'm a high roller. Oh, twenty bucks is a, a shit. But you know, I'll give her twenty bucks and be like, hey, baby, come around. I'll take care of you. You take care of me. And she's like, ooh, he's a he's a baller. And then she'll come around every now and then, you know, keep me liquored up. And I, you know, I might spend a hundred dollars worth of, I might I might get like a hundred dollars worth of alcohol and maybe spend half of that. And I just I just tip her like just straight up. Hashtag take care of your bartenders. That's nice. Rookie patch auto to ninety nine for the Broncos. Cortland Sutton. You know, you, you got to know how to pimp the system. You got to know how to pimp the system. Just pretend to be a high roller. Just you know just stand next to somebody that's actually gambling, and then you know tip the waitress or whatever. Give her like twenty bucks off rip. Like, that's the first thing you do. Before you even order your drink, you give her $20, and I promise you she'll come around and keep you liquored up. For a fraction of the price. Let's get this top loaded. Ow. Well, that's a base card. I'll replace this base card. I got a bunch of them. So I will replace this one, my Eric Fisher. Matter of fact, I got a bunch of them right here. So I'm sure if I can find another Eric Fisher. Let me do that because I got that card all bent up. I, can do I got base for days, yo. Oh my god, I want my Eric Fisher base card. Oh no, you bent it all, Uncle Jesse. Oh my god. I'm trying to find... Well, how about 
instead of the uh, that's a lineman. Nobody wants a lineman. I'll throw my homes at you. How about that? Boom. Instant upgrade right there in the base card. You went from a lineman to the starting quarterback. Boom. Now we can uh, toss that. Nobody wants that. To 92, Marcus Davenport, Saints. Almost done with this, folks. Kalias Campbell. Three color patch to 25 for the Jaguars. That's pretty sweet. Very nice. All right. Make sure I didn't miss any aqueous tests. <clears throat> I'm hungry. I wonder what kind of bull crap I'm going to eat tonight. Let's see, yesterday I had McDonald's. Probably have Burger King tonight. I, man, I got to start like... I got I to gotta start spending that money at the grocery store like an adult <coughs> you have McDonald's for lunch earlier nice dude I can't have yogurt yogurt will mess me up dog Lactose intolerant kid over here. Which kills me because I love dairy products. It's such a bummer. I'm a chef. I'll start trading food. <laughs> we'll pay for breaks with food. <laughs> That's what's up, Ethan. Uh, so what, what kind of chef? Are you like the sous chef or or, or what? I don't know. Just try to make conversation here. No, dude, hell yeah. You save hella money buying groceries. It's just, you know, doing what I do in this, in this business. You know, I work really odd hours. You know, I sleep all day and, I, and I'm up all night, as you can see. Uh, it's 1.35 in the morning over here. And I'm usually streaming, you know, depending on what's going on for the day. I'm usually live until at least 2, maybe 3 in the morning. Sometimes I go deep into the night. But on average, I'm not getting home until like 5, 6 in the morning. You know what I mean? So what is there to eat at that time? Bullshit. That's what I end up eating. I end up eating bullshit uh, most of the time. And I, I and I need what I need to do is I need to start like meal prepping. You know, fine. I need to make just make time during the day where I just cook for the whole week, and then I have like meals that I could just bring in and eat. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, I'm on East Coast time. Yeah, I'm I'm on East Coast time. So it's 1:36 a.m. East Coast time. Richie, how does that work out being a funeral director? That 
does not sound like a very fun job. Right, like what do you do? Like exactly, like it's, like what do you do? Oh well, Frank, listen, I'll, I'll I'll even give you a little uh, a little hand action if you uh, if you can get that to me like right now. There you go, Ethan. So the so the sous chef I think is number two, right, in the kitchen. Oh, Frank, definitely got to watch out for that, bro. Oh, man, Richie, that's got to be intense, dog. I mean, Kels, uh, you know, just meet me at the back of the, uh, of Shorty's Barbecue, of Sunday's Barbecue here, and, uh, you know, I'll go. I'll go back to my old place of employment. I'll do something strange for a little bit of change. I mean, look at these bad boys. Hey, look at these bad boys. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I mean, and that's that's kind of cool, Richie, as far as the family business is concerned. That's kind of what I would like to do with this. You know what I mean, Richie? Make it uh, make it kind of like a family deal, so I can pass it on to the next generation of breakers. So, uh, Richie, I gotta ask, man. I, I know you got a, I know you got some stories for me. I know you. I know you got some stories for me. You you wanna you feel like sharing with the classroom at all? Maybe. All right. Let's see. What we, let's see. What we got here. Alrighty. It's officially Rip City after dark. <laughs> what to do, Greg? To one hundred, Kareem Hunt of the Chiefs. These are some pretty cool. Uh, Looking cards, these highlights. Just got home, Big Greg. How was it, man? You got any stories for me tonight? I know you. I know you folks that work in the casino industry. I know y'all got some stories for me. Like Big Greg once killed a guy without even touching him. Chuck Foreman to 100 Vikings. And that's a true story, according to Big Greg. My man killed a guy and he didn't even touch him. Ooh, already. See, Kells. Who did Calvin call a bitch tonight? Ooh, Calvin, you're in trouble. Amari Cooper to 400 Raiders. I feel you, Richie. I feel you. Also, Frank, you're you're relatively still new to the uh, the casino industry, if you will. What to do, Kels? Calvin called me a fuck that motherfucker named Calvin. Fuck that guy. Nobody called anybody. Hey, ain't, ain't nobody call me a bitch. There's a handful of people that can call me a bitch and get away with it. Like, well, all you guys watching, like all of y'all, y'all can call me a bitch all day, no problem. As long as you give me money, it's cool. DJ Moore, no business there. Thought that was going to be like an auto, but it's not. I feel you not. Nah, Richie, it, it, I, I say, no, say no more. I, I get it 100%. I, you know, I was just trying to... Uh, to get something out of you, if you will. 
Where am I on the East Coast, bitch? <laughs> well, that didn't take too long. Uh, I'm on. I'm in Miami, bitch. I'm in Miami, bitch. Finally, home sweet home. To 100 Hunter, uh, what? To 100 Hunter Henry. Say that three times fast. To 100 Hunter Henry. To 100 Hunter Henry. To 100 Hunter Henry. To 100 Hunter Henry. To 100, Hunter Henry. Chargers. That's right, Big Greg. You let you let that fucker know. Nobody calls Uncle Jesse a bitch and gets away with it. Nobody. You were here in December. You got like family out here? Oh, you came at a good time too. December when it's you know, when it's kind of cool. Royce Freeman to 50. Rated rookie for the Broncos. Very nice. Oh, that's what's up, Richie. Congrats, my man. You took a... Yeah, that, that's kind of... So was it... Hold on. So question. Was it out of Miami or did you come... Or did you leave out of the port in Fort Lauderdale? And where'd you go? And what was the cruise line? Uh, I've been on a few cruises. Well, a couple, actually. I've been on two cruises. Uh, both of them Carnival. And, dude, those things are fun, man. I can only imagine with the fiancé. What kind of fun you kids had, huh? 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 All right. Anyway. Jared Goff to 150 patch for the Rams. Oh, got it, Kels. <laughs> You gotta entertain yourself somehow, huh? Yo, I heard Calvin called you a bitch. What? Where Calvin at? Dylan Cantrell to 84 Chargers. So you went Key West, Bahamas, and Cuba. Dude, you went to Cuba? Nice. I've been I've been considering doing one of those. I, I've never been on a Royal Caribbean cruise. I can only assume it's fancy. But the Carnival cruises are pretty fun, man. They're a little, they're a little ratchet, but that's right up my alley. I'm from Miami, bitch, so that's right up my alley. What do we got here? Oh man, I could have been a big time auto there, the Rosen for the Cardinals. Or, yeah, I saw my, my boy, who's actually Cuban, uh, went to Cuba to, like, visit family not too long ago. And he showed me some pictures. It's like it's like they're stuck in the 70s or something out there. All right, so we haven't missed an auto yet. Okay, cool. But yeah, it's really nice stuff. Uh, there's one auto, one relic per box in this, Big Greg. One auto, one relic per box. And we're almost done. Last box here. Oh, dude! I was gonna say Duval Street. Uh, I was gonna, I was gonna bring that up. Yeah, man. That is honestly the only thing there is to do in, in Key West. <laughs> you go to Duval Street and visit the southernmost point. You know, take a picture for social media or whatever. Send it to your mom or whatever, and then go back to Duval Street and get lit. Uh, but there's actually this other cool. Well, I mean, if you consider it cool, uh, they have this thing called Fantasy Fest. Where it's like a gay pride kind of deal. But like everybody comes out for that. So you see people literally walking around butt ass naked. Yeah, Big Greg, that's about right. That's about right. But yeah, Duval Street is lit. Oh man, Richie. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta watch out, bro. But you know, next time you're in Miami and the wife's not around... Uncle Jesse could show you a good time. Don't worry. I won't have you doing anything I wouldn't do, all right? Whoa, kills. Not cool. Uh, 
Go to Taiwan. Go to go to Thailand, Kels. Go to Thailand. Go to Thailand. Just just make sure to check for the uh, for the good old Adam's apple and whatnot. And look at the knuckles too. Look at the knuckles. Or so I've been told. I don't know. This is after dark. <laughs> it's a fit. If it wasn't official as of like a couple hours ago, it is definitely official now. Kevin. You know, Rip City After Dark, it's it's a real thing. It's a real thing. Before I go through this last box here, and it is the last box, I need to double check these veterans here and make sure I didn't miss out on any aqueous test short prints. And to check for that, gotta look at the back of the card. Now, one less thing for my sorters to do, if I could just knock it out now, whatever, it's worth it for me. Because I do pay them by the hour, so the less time they spend, the better. Dude, Kells, by all means, go for it. I, I got to censor myself because I'm, I'm the potty mouth. I'm, I am the one. I am the degenerate. The rest of you guys are, are angels. The rest of you are my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful angels that can do no wrong. I'm the potty mouth. I'm the nasty one. I don't think there. I don't think there's any. But again, nice to double check. All right. Nope. None in there. All right. Cool. So, let's see what's in this last box. Good luck, everybody. Especially those without a hit. Here we go. All right. We have the '88 Jordan Atkins Texans. Really, Frank? I mean, I don't know what you I don't know what you spent on the on your team or whatever, but what kind what kind of prices you getting? Where, matter of fact, Frank, where you, where are you from, dog? I'm from Miami, Florida. If that is not blatantly uh, apparent by now. <coughs> Very true. If you don't get a hit, you get like a million base cards sent your way. There you go. Sell each for like 10 cents. You make some money back. Okay, Frank. All right. Okay. Southeast. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. So are you in Illinois? 50 dollar ounces. Are you serious? Well, then again, I forget that you're on the West Coast, and there's like a tree on every corner, so that no wonder those are those. I was gonna say, damn dog, those are some crazy prices. You know, I, I, Uncle Jesse getting his for like what? I get like a I get a halfy for like thirty bucks. Must be nice. Must be nice. But it's good stuff. Jack Doyle deal there. I love when people start talking about pot, then like just everybody comes out of the chat. <laughs> ah, good times, good times. Uh, so we got a random this uh, this lady here, Miss Chloe Kim. 
Doesn't have a team, as you can see. Look at the NFL shield. So we got a random here. Mark Walton to 99, Bengals rookie. See, there you go. Everybody's coming out comparing. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Rip City after dark, baby. It's here. Alrighty. Let's go. That stack is getting pretty tall. Rookie die cut for the Buccaneers to 75, Carlton Davis. Dirty jersey in the house. I thought the I thought the Browns cut Chloe Kim. You know they tried to they try to put her in as a as a fullback and she she just could not pick up the blocks. So 49 Christian Kerr, Cardinals rookie auto. There you go. Man, you know what? I, I'm up. I'm about to take. I'm. I'm about to go. Go ahead and do my. Man, man, I got something waiting for me in the car. It's, it's already rolled up, ready for your boy. I'm. I'm kind of debating about. No, nah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. Let's finish this up. Let's be professional. Let's be professional. Ben Roethlisberger to 400 Steelers. That's what it's looking like, Frank. I mean, it's it's better than four pounds of nothing. Stack here to finish this off mercifully. Oh man, might have to talk to Jason about uh, considering doing these as like four box breaks or something. <coughs> Excuse me, it packs for David Johnson at 150, and that is the break. Oh, aside from this, Trey Quinn Smith, uh, rookie insert for the Saints. That's it! Alright, so let me go through these base cards one time. Make sure I don't miss any aqueous tests here. We've got a recap coming up, but first got to random the Chloe Kim. Apparently, she's kind of a big deal. She's she's a, a case hit, apparently. That's that's what the internets tell me, and if the internets tell me that, then 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 you know it's true. Then you know it's true. Check this stack here. Just want to make sure I didn't pass up any aqueous tests. Nope. All right, cool. So let's roll the die for the uh, Chloe Kim. She needs a. She needs a team. Let's give her one. I'll give her one. All right, let's give her one. Five plus three is eight. Last I checked. Uh, so let's go ahead and do the random here. Put it in the chat there. 
Let me get my teams list. Do the old copy paste. Boom, all teams there. So we're going to go eight times in the randomizer. Top team will be receiving the Chloe Kim. Here we go. Good luck. Get rid of this. Going eight times. And the money shot eight. Boom. Eight times. The Titans. Chloe Kim is a fan of the Titans, according to the random. Very nice. Boom. Yeah, I wrote all over the card. So what? You want to fight about it? All right, let's recap. Starting with the, the lowest number parallels. All these are numbered to 50 or less. We have Royce Freeman Broncos to 50. Deron Payne Redskins to 50. Anthony Miller Bears to 25. And Malcolm Butler of the Titans to 21. Relics, we got David Johnson Cardinals to 150. Jared Goff Rams to 150. Calais Campbell to 25 Jaguars. To 150 Kareem Hunt Chiefs. To 150 Mahomes Chiefs. And to 99 Howell Long Raiders. And now for our autos, we got Christian Kirk Cardinals to 49. Corlin Sutton Broncos to 99. Out of 99. So that's a little eBay 101 right there. Broncos did work. Corlin Sutton to 49 right there. Kalen Ballage of the Dolphins to 499. And Traquan Smith of the Saints to 499. And that was the break, my friends. Thank you very much. We'll get that out to you.